Hey guys, X Niner back with you guys again. I'm actually gonna run through some items, a dir or adder, and MMO items. So we can take a look right here. We have items adder, items a dir, I guess is however you want to say it, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to take these items that you can get from here. Uh, more specifically down here at the add-ons location. You have an inspired Wayla, uh, boss shop if you use that, server monitoring, uh, some builder stuff, world edit, uh, extra items, uh, a few other things, even if you go down here, RPG inventory compatibility, all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna be going off of the example for 3D fantasy weapons. Uh, if you have this plugin, you pretty much already know what that's about or I'm sorry if you have this add-on you pretty much know what it's about so we're gonna go ahead and do exactly what this is I currently have it installed um, but I'd imagine that if you have this you're going off of how to already do this um, so once you do all this you implement the item into the game we're gonna go ahead and go forward with how to take that item and go through with MMO items and get all the stats, elementals, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to swap over to Minecraft um, where I have a test server and we're going to take a look at this. All right, see you guys then. Alrighty, so we're back and as you can see, I've already have some of my custom weapons. I got one on me. The one that's actually on me right now is one that I made through MMO items real quick. Um, it's fully fledged. It's got a bunch of stuff attack damage attack speed crit strike uh chancing and power pvp damage pve damage uh you see at the bottom there you can actually see we have earth defense and then we have thunder damage then we have darkness damage but then we also have an equivalent of defense the darkness um and you can see that i've also set this to an uncommon item that sets its drop rate so its drop rate is at an uncommon level it's a lot of stats on here, but these stats are not actually making it as powerful as you really think. If you look at the stats, you're seeing 5%, 2%, not even 1%. Uh, let's see, a plus 2, a plus 2, a plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Hell, even like it uses 0.1 of mana. It doesn't use that much. So that's that's not that bad. It has a knockback resistance of 400%. Okay, you can't get knocked back doesn't do a lot of damage but it does a good amount it's not really overpowering i'd promise i'd, I'd probably actually add this in into it the actual server myself um so if you want to see i have actually a handful of others um what we're going to actually do to start this is we first need to know the data of this item that you have um so we're going to go ahead and we're going to look into the files real quick okay so once you're in your server files go to items adder go to data or adder i'm calling it both go to your resource packs go to assets go to minecraft go to models go to item and in this case we're looking for weapons so in case of weapons you're looking for a sword or an axe or a bow um, I already know what most of these swords are based off of, which is going to actually be a pulling up, please. There we go. So it's actually going to be a diamond sword for us. So let's go ahead and open up that diamond sword .json, And here's a big old ugly line of text. We're gonna go ahead and just find something. So it's pretty easy to read this. Um, it starts off at the very beginning saying it was made or sometimes it says it was made but this is basically the custom model data uh, you can see here we're already at data 46 because we're already at the end but the parent is going to be stop it the parent stop it really so the parent here is going to be just item handheld it's a handheld item it's a weapon uh, the layer zero is basically what we're going to have a custom data model for, which is item diamond sword. And then if we go ahead and we scroll through, we see our first model data for number one, and that's going to be 
an example. So we're going to skip it. Let's go all the way to the end like I just accidentally did already. We're going to go back one more to 45. And it's a nature sword. So now that it's 45, we're going to go back into the server. And once we are back into the server, you just go ahead and remember the number 45. Go ahead and do MI create. And here you're going to create what type you want to make. Is it an accessory, armor, axe, a block, a bow, a catalyst, a consumable, crossbow, dagger, gauntlet, gemstone, great axe, great bow, great hammer. We said it was a nature sword. We could go with a staff. Um or a sword or a katana it's up to you uh, or even a long sword so let's go with long sword and let's call it nature nature's you know what nature's staff pardon my spelling if I just screwed that up all right we have a nature staff you can name that whatever you want that was just, that item ID is just what we're gonna call it from here we need to go ahead and we need to change its material so that we can grab the model data of that material or that item. So right now it's a stone sword. We need to make it a diamond sword. So I went ahead and clicked that and we're gonna go ahead and say it's a diamond sword. That will change to a diamond sword from here. Our custom model data, like we said, was I believe 24. So click what I just clicked and I'll show it again real quick. So cancel that. Again, you're gonna to go to custom model data, go ahead and click that, and then type in just the number. Okay, so type in your number, it's 45. There you go, there it is right there. We're gonna go ahead and say that we want maximum durability of, it's nature, 800. We want lost and broken false. We're gonna change the display name, and since it's nature, we want a golden -y color, so nature, Staff, sword, nature, long, sword. There you go, nature's long sword. And then from here, we can do a couple different things. NPT, disable crafting, you already know all this. Um, um, I do want to show a specific one, which is the elementals, just to go ahead and clear that real quick. So we can do the defense against elementals, or we can do the elemental damage. It is nature, so guess what? We are gonna go with straight nature, earth. We're gonna go ahead and go with earth damage. Type the value of the earth damage. Screw it, 100% earth damage. Ha ha, I'm just kidding. 25% earth damage, and we want defense of 50, because guess what? It's an earth weapon. Um, no, I'm just kidding. If you give 25, I'm going to go ahead and defense back with that about 10 um, or 15. That way you can do your damage, but if they attack you, you're still going to get hurt, but probably not with that elemental damage. However, if you're one of those people where if you can give off the damage and you don't want to give it back, you can actually do a one for one swap. So you can deal 25% just as much as you can be defensive against 25%. Um, and of course that changes if you make another one and another sword and somebody has another sword that comes against you and they're 50% for each. Um, it's twofold, <sighs> whatever you like. Um, once you're done with that, go ahead and go back and play with anything else you want regenerational stuff, whatever. Uh, that's essentially it. Um, there is a few other things which people tend to forget. Um, but, oh. I didn't have projectile damage anyways. You can change it to unbreaking if you want, whatever. But you get the rundown of what most of this is. This is just kind of a, hey, guess what? I have an item from items adder. Now I'm going to add it into MMO items. There you go. It's that quick. It's that easy. It's that painless. Hopefully I gave you some extra info to possibly kind of get into MMO items as well a little bit more. Uh, I do have a few more tutorials, a few more showcases uh, and whatnot to go ahead and start developing to get it out to you guys. This was actually a pretty nifty little video to make for you all. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace out.
Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.